This tutorial will explain how to do a proper setup of an OTDR. Determine if your network is a point-to-point -point network or a point-to-multipoint, like in a passive optical network, known as PON. Point-to-point -point networks. To optimize test quality and duration, the pulse width needs to be long enough to carry sufficient power to clearly see the end of the fiber, yet small enough to have decent resolution. A shorter pulse width is used to get a higher resolution, better visibility inside the link and to characterize closely spaced elements, but it has distance limitations. A longer pulse width will carry more energy. This will test longer fiber links, but with less resolution, possibly masking some elements. It should be noted that the quality of the test improves when the data is averaged over a longer period, as it enhances the resolution for greater distances. However, it is important to mention that there is a plateau where the testing duration no longer improves the results, indicating a non-linear relationship as opposed to the linear relationship presented here. OTDRs can be complex to use, yet they offer automated features to facilitate the setup and reading the results. For users new to the OTDR world, making sure that the unit is set into auto mode is a good option. As you press the start button, the OTDR will explore the link and use what it calculates as the optimal pulse width to perform an automated measurement, giving you the link length and link loss. This is usually a good compromise to return a global view of the link. Then if needed you can manually readjust the pulse width and averaging time if you need a bit more resolution to find something specific on the link. Another testing method is to use the real-time mode. In this mode the OTDR is continuously sending pulses onto the link and providing a live view of the link. It could be used to get a quick assessment of the link or to determine if you are connected to the right link before performing a full measurement. While using real-time mode is quick and provides a good estimate of link characteristics since we can still see the optical events, it only gives a rough characterization of the link without the improved quality of averaging the results over the duration. Also, it has the drawback of requiring that the user know and understand what they are looking at. For point-to-multipoint -point networks, the PON splitter will create a very significant loss. The light is split into equal parts depending on the splitter ratio, so each individual branch has, in a 1 by 32 splitter, only 1 32nd of the total power. A huge loss for any OTDR test. The pulse should therefore be large enough to overcome this big loss, to characterize the splitter while reaching the end of the link. Real-time mode is not useful in point-to-multipoint networks. A good rule of thumb for testing a 1 by 32 splitter is to start with a 500 nanosecond pulse and then adjust slightly one way or the other depending on the results. The average test duration should be at least 15 to 30 seconds. Keep in mind that the longer the average test duration the better the performance. This is a compromise to consider. Note that higher dynamic range OTDRs, those with more powerful lasers, can use smaller pulses to achieve the same distance, thereby gaining in resolution.